Clear, come on in. You think he saw you? No, I think we're good. Good, let's do this. Boys and girls, this is such an exciting day because me and Jordan are gonna set up for our friend Jimmy's surprise birthday party. I just can't wait to see his face when he walks in the room and everyone yells, surprise! He'll <laughs> never see it coming. Yeah, that's gonna be the trickiest part because Jimmy's always saying how he can't be surprised. He told me the other day, Ellie, you won't be able to surprise me at all. Not even with a birthday surprise of Rooney. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Coach Rocco, everybody's favorite coach. Clay, come on in. Phew, I was getting worried there. I thought that was Jimmy. Well, I don't know about this surprise thing. Jimmy hates surprises, especially on his birthday. And he's gonna be suspicious all day. That's why we need you to be our lookout for the day. Yeah, you're gonna have to distract Jimmy all day. Make sure he doesn't go inside this room and make sure you do anything you can think of to make that happen, even if it's a little crazy. <sighs> Distract Jimmy all day. I, well, I think there's a few chores I can get him to do to distract him. <laughs> all right, team, I got this. Coach Rocco's on the job. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Coach Rocco. All right, boys and girls, if you wanna help me and Jordan set up this birthday party, give us a big thumbs up for good luck. We got this. <laughs> Is today the day? I think it is. Let me check. Yes, it's here. The greatest day of the year. Not the last day of school. It's my birthday. It's Jimmy's birthday. Best day ever. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's outside getting ready to wish me a happy birthday. Before I greet them, I want to show you something. Hello, Jimmy Nation. That's right, it's birthday boy Jimmy here, here to guide you through my best birthday ever. I wanted to film today, considering I'm gonna wanna remember it forever. All right, everyone, here comes the birthday boy. Hello, I'm awake. I'm sure they'll be here in no time. Oh, hey, Jordan. I didn't realize you were coming over today. Hi, Jimmy. Yep, pretty big day today. Ellie's helping me with a school science project. You know how hard science can be. Hey, you wanna help us? <laughs> that would be a big no thank you, as I'm sure you're aware I have much bigger plans for today. Okay, well, your loss. What could possibly be bigger than a science project today? See you later. Why was Jordan talking about science stuff? Oh, I know. Ellie must have forgotten to tell Jordan that it's my birthday. That makes sense. I'm sure she'll remember soon and buy me a big old birthday present. Yup, everyone knows that it's the most important day of the year. Well, 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 look who I see, Ellie Sparkles. I bet you're extra excited to see me today, huh? Extra excited? Why would I be extra excited? I mean, I practically see you every day, Jimmy. Well, I wouldn't just call this any regular day. Oh, right, it isn't a regular day, is it? It's the big science project day. Oh, that reminds me, I have to go help Jordan with her science project. We're gonna be doing such hard science work today. Maybe we can hang out later after I do all this science stuff and play some Roblox. All right, bye, Jimmy. Huh? Ellie forgot Jimmy's birthday too? What's going on here? Why is everyone talking about science? All right, new rule. No more doing science homework on Jimmy's birthday. That is my birthday decree. You know what, I'm going in. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm glad I ran into you. I have something for you. Oh, finally, about time someone remembers. Thanks, Coach Rocco. Good to see there's still some sense in this crazy, crazy world. All right, I'm ready for it. There you go, it's pool cleaning day. I want you to take this and start cleaning that pool. I want it spotless. And when you're done with that, I've got a bunch of other fun chores for you to do. Chores? Today? Coach Rocco, do you even know what day it is? You can't do this to me. Is this some sort of joke? Wow, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Time to get you out of there. Ooh, smells so good. Ta-da! 
We baked a cake for Jimmy's birthday. Yay! And now we're going to decorate it with orange frosting. Jimmy's favorite color. <sighs> Smells delicious. Smells amazing in here. Oh, Jimmy, hi! Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? Might you be baking a very special cake for a very special someone on an extremely special day? Aw, thanks, guys. You didn't have to do that for me. What are you talking about? This cake? It's just a part of that science project we were telling you about mm -hmm. before. Remember? Yep, a uh, freshly baked science cake. Wait a second. Science cake? Who bakes a cake for science class? Wait, hold on. You're telling me that it's a science cake and the frosting is orange, which happens to be my favorite color? Can you explain that? Easy. Uh, in science class, we're learning about how to make different colors from prime colors, but using food. So to make orange, we used um, oh, ketchup, which is red, and mustard, which is yellow. And as you know, Jimmy, red and yellow mix together and make orange. Ta-da! Ugh, that sounds like the worst cake I've ever heard of. Ugh, I mean, ketchup I could see, but mustard? You guys ruined a perfectly good cake. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> there you are. I, I, I just wanted to compliment you on a job well done. That pool you cleaned is spotless. In fact, you did such a good job that I think I'll have you water the flowers next. Oh no, not more chores. I'd rather have the mustard cake. But no, come on, just let me have a piece. Anything but more chores. Oh. <sighs> Bye, Jimmy. Bye. That was close. Yeah, let's finish this cake. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good already. Day. I can't believe I spent my whole birthday doing chores. Jimmy cleaned the pool, Jimmy washed the car, Jimmy mowed the lawn. And on top of that, I didn't even get one lousy birthday present. Oh, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day in bed. Worst birthday ever. Hey, Jimmy, I got one more favor to ask. I promise it's the last one. Sure, coach. Why not? Since my day's already ruined anyway, may as well do some more chores. Come on, this way. Oh, what can I do for you, coach? Oh, maybe do the dishes, wash the windows. Hey, Jimmy, want a vacuum? Come on, Jimmy, just right in here. Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys actually remembered. Of course, Jimmy. I mean, me and Jordan have been setting up these signs and streamers all day. Awesome, you got my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. We even got these super cool party favors. Party favors, oh, I love these. Wait a second, are those my gifts? Oh boy, oh boy. You guys did remember to get me everything on my birthday list, right? Ah, uh, well, even if you didn't, I'm sure I'll love whatever you got. Remember that cake, the one made from ketchup and mustard? It's actually just orange colored frosting. Oh, so it's not actually a condiment cake? Phew. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, so be honest. We surprised you, didn't we? Are you kidding me? Surprised? Nice try, Ellie, but you can't pull one over old Jimmy, especially on my birthday. So you knew the science project wasn't real? No, oh, of course I knew that was a bunch of baloney. Who does science on Jimmy's birthday? What about all the chores Coach Rocco had you do? Oh, oh yeah, well, I was just kidding for those too. You know, I just cleaned the yard because it was fun and like, it's important to give back on your birthday. Anyway, let's dig in. Wow, it's real nice of you, Jimmy. Ooh, I love this one. Look at the bow on this. Birthday. Oh, the color amazing that. birthday. Let me put a hat on. Which is the biggest one? <laughs>
<laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon. ready for another video. Today I'm going to show Ellie, you how to... Ellie, guess what? What's up, Coach Rocco? Hi. Guess who's going to be the next big YouTube star? Okay, I can't wait for you to guess. Me, I'm going to be the next YouTube star. <laughs> awesome. Cut, cut, cut. Coach Rocco, it's my camera and you can't just walk in the shot like that. Jimmy, what are you doing here? I'm Ellie's cameraman for today. It's me, Director Jimmy, reporting for duty. Wait a minute, did one of those lights go out? Oh, I gotta check these. Director's work is never done. Yep, Jimmy's helping me film one of my videos. But that's okay, I'm really excited for you, Coach Rocco. What's your video gonna be about? Well, that's why I'm here, I need your help. I tried doing a Roblox channel, but I couldn't get the things to run, or I couldn't get them to talk, or I, well, I couldn't figure out anything. So I figured you could help me figure out what I should make my channel about. Hmm, let's see, well, it doesn't matter that you're not good at Roblox because you can put anything on YouTube. What are you good at? Well, uh, I am good at cleaning the pool, so maybe I could make a channel that's Coach Rocco's Cleaning the Pool channel. Um, Coach Rocco, it also has to be something interesting. Tell you what, why don't we figure out what your special talent is and then we'll film a video. All right. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to be the next YouTube star. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you want to help Coach Rocco film his video, give me a big thumbs up. Ellie, I have an idea. My father was a singer and my mother is a dancer, so maybe I got some of those Rocco jeans. Maybe we do a channel that's singing and dancing. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. There are plenty of YouTube channels like that. All right, Jimmy, you ready? Yup, three, two, one, action. Hello, Spark, I mean, uh, Coach Alinos. Uh, welcome to the Coach Rocco Show. We're here with my bestest friend, Ellie. Hit it, Ellie. Okay, um, let's see. We're gonna be singing a song about pool skimming. Um, cleaning the pool is so cool. Cleaning the pool is so cool. Cleaning the pool, cleaning the pool. I'm cleaning the pool. I'm cleaning the pool. Did I get a million hits yet? Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so the views aren't exactly rolling in right Aww. now, but we still have plenty of ideas left to try out for the Rocco channel. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello there, Sparkle Squad, and welcome. No, 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 Coach Rocco. You don't call your viewers Sparkle Squad. That's what I call my viewers. Oh. You're your own person. So be yourself and pick a name for all your fans out there. Okay, uh, Hello there, Coach Cadets, and welcome to the Coach Rocco channel. Um, has it been eight minutes yet? Has it been? Um, no. Just keep going. My friend Ellie here is going to 
teaches、uh, science. Yeah, that's right, Coach Rocco. Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Ellie Sparkles, and we're going to make elephant slime today. Do you like getting messy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like science? Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Then this will be the perfect experiment for you. First of all, put on your goggles. Oh, yours are already on, Coach Rocco. Well done. All right. First, you're going to get a tablespoon of dish liquid. You're gonna put your funnel over your bottle to make sure there's no messes. Put your dish liquid in there, as well as your hydrogen peroxide. Oh, before I handle the hydrogen peroxide, I gotta have my gloves on first. Perfect. Now to put in the hydrogen peroxide. If you have an adult, make sure they're doing this step with you. Awesome! Now to mix it all up. Look at how foamy you got. You're going to have to get one tablespoon of yeast and put it in a bowl, and get three tablespoons of warm water. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! <gasps> <laughs> wow, that was super messy and super fun. All right, Coach Rocco, how are you doing over there? Ah,、uh, well, I guess I'm gonna put. The, I don't want to waste a bunch of yeast, and I don't like the way it smells, so I'm gonna put my own ingredients here. Um, okay. It'll work. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put this for the elephant toothpaste. Toothpaste. It's coming. It's coming. See it? It didn't work, did it? Didn't work. I don't think I'm so much into this science thing, and even less of the making of the messes. I think I'm gonna take your advice and do something that I like, something I'm good at. I think that's a great idea, and there's plenty of ideas to try out. Let's go. And cut. <sighs> hey, Coach, how you feeling? Hey, Ellie, I don't think I'm good at anything. I don't think I'll be the next YouTube star. Nonsense, Coach Rocco. We just haven't found a talent of yours that translates into a great YouTube channel. Me and Jimmy will find your niche in no time. Just、well. stay positive. Yeah, maybe I'll stay positive, but you know one thing I am good at is chores, and that's something we forgot to do with all this YouTube stuff. So let's go meet me in the gym. Oh man! Okay. Come on. This gym is super messy. We've been neglecting our chores. I'm hoping you two will help me organize it. Jimmy, you put those weights back up there, and Ellie, if you could put these boxes together. And I'll deal with these big weights back here. Now be careful; those are heavy. Oh, Coach, you weren't kidding. These weights really are heavy. I can barely move them. Yes, yes. Let me get to it. Don't want you to hurt yourself. I can just lift like this. Look at those Rocco muscles there. <laughs> To help me with this box, it's super heavy too. All right, here let let me do it. Let me do it. I'm good at this. Now, you bend at the knees, and then you push up. Ah, there you go.、Oh. That's how you do it. Come to think of it, that's what I'm good at. I'm good at lifting things, and I'm good at exercising. Look, jumping jacks, and I can run in place. That's awesome, Coach Rocco. You'll have the best exercise YouTube channel around. With a little bit of patience and perseverance, I knew you would find your niche. <laughs> I'm gonna be the next YouTube star. <laughs> All right, let's start filming. Three, two, one, action! Hello there, Coachalinos, and welcome to the Coach Rocco channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you some great exercises. But let's start. With some stretching. <laughs> Now first, stretch up to the sky real high. Now stretch down low to your toes. 
Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you wanna watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you wanna learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, come on in, Jimmy. You're welcome here anytime. Uh, what could be so important? This is what's so important. Look what came in the mail today. It's so unfair. What is this, an award or something? Ellie, did you win the science fair and you didn't tell me? Science fair? You think that this is a science fair award? Coach Rocco, do you really not know what this is? This is my gold YouTube play button. That means that I got one million subscribers on my YouTube channel. I still can't believe it. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. See, if you put your mind to something, you can accomplish anything. Oh yeah? Well, I have a YouTube channel too, you know. So how is it that Ellie has one million subscribers and I'm stuck on... Six. Six subscribers. I don't get it. Who wouldn't want to watch the Jimmy YouTube channel with all my natural charm and charisma rooney? Well, Jimmy, having a YouTube channel is really, really difficult, actually. You have to plan the video, film it, edit it, and do it over and over again. You know it's a lot of hard work. Hmm, so what you're saying is, to get a million subscribers on YouTube, I need to put in a lot of hard work, or just be naturally totally awesome like I am, and I'll be successful that way. I think I'll pick the second option. You know what, Ellie? I think I can do this. Meet me in the gaming room in five minutes with all your gear. One million subscribers, here I come! Jimmy, you still have chores to do! Jimmy, it's not gonna be as easy as you think! Boys and girls, if you wanna watch what Jimmy does with his channel, give me a big thumbs up! And perfect. Ellie, Ellie, come on, come sit down. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? You playing Roblox? And we are going live in three, Wait, two, live? one, ready. go. What's up, Jim Rooney's? Welcome to Jimmy's brand new YouTube channel, the greatest channel in history. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. And I brought along my friend Ellie Sparkles to assist me. She's pretty good at Roblox too. Maybe the second or third best player in the world. After me, of course. Well, Ellie, say hello to all the nice Jim Rooney's out there. Hey, everyone. Did you call them the Jim Rooney's? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I call my fans. All right, everyone, let's get to playing. Okay. Let's play some Roblox. Ooh. All right, so we will start out in my garage, and then I will lead you into Casa El Jimmy. Yes, the coolest house in all of Roblox. See my stairs, and my kitchen, mm -hmm. and my bedroom. You know, I had to work really hard to get all the Roblox to make this house just right. Oh yeah, I know you got a lot of Robux. Mmm. Everyone, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you start commenting. Coach Rocco, are you dusting the dishes? Look how dusty they got already. Oh, well, Coach Rocco, could you please do this later or clean something more quietly? I'm trying to make a YouTube video, remember? One million subscribers. Yes, I, I forgot. I'll dust something else. Sorry. Okay, let's get back to it, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry about the technical difficulties there, everyone. Let's get back to playing. Time to show you my brand new indoor swimming pool. I built this baby in my dining room, so now I can jump from my bed into my swimming pool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> cool. Oh, Rocco, what are you doing? I told you to stop dusting. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm just dusting the computer table. Just take a second, you won't even notice I'm here. Oh, Rocco, it's gonna get in the middle Look, of the you don't wanna video. dust. See, oh, oh, Jim, 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 I think your fans are leaving the stream. Oh no. Don't go anywhere, Jimaroonies. Please don't go. Uh, we can play around, Coach Rocco. Come on, come on. Don't, no, stick around. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, man. See? Clean as a whistle. <laughs> you know, that Roblox video was actually pretty cool, Jimmy. I know. I was probably this close to getting one million Jimaroony subscribers. Oh, Coach Rocco had to ruin it with his dusting. Lucky for me, though, I'm so talented that there are so many other things I can show to my audience. Hey, maybe you should do a math channel and teach math to all your Jim Rooney. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny, Ellie, but that's a big no thank you. Instead, I think I'll move on to my next talent. <laughs> Music and guitar. I'm going to sing and play guitar for everyone. All right, you ready? Oh, you bet. Wait, we're going to go live, okay? So you want to practice first? No, 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 no. I thrive on improvisation. Let's go. One, two, three. Jimmy is the best, and he doesn't know how to play this song. Yeah, I think this one needs a little more fine-tuning. But, you know, this song, actually, I've been working on for a while, and I think it's actually totally awesome, totally awesome. Yeah, totally awesome. This song is totally awesome. Jimmy's really cool and he's the greatest 
biggest kid in the whole school And if you don't like him, you're a fool Because he is so very cool And he's totally awesome You yeah, just love totally it! Totally awesome Yeah, totally awesome <laughs> Totally awesome Coach Rocco, you're ruining my song with your vacuuming! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, um... Let's do that vacuuming song. Come on. I don't want to do the vacuuming song. Ellie hasn't heard it yet. Come on, it'll just take a second. Do it for the viewers, Jimmy. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. This is the vacuum song. This song isn't very long. You want to vacuum your shelves. You want to vacuum your boxes. Vacuum all the animals in the boxes. Okay, okay, cut, 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 cut. Everybody left the live stream. Sorry, Jimmy. I knew this would happen. Nobody wants to sing songs about vacuuming. Guess I'm back to singing the blues. I got the blues. I got the YouTube blues. Still got the blues. Still got the YouTube blues. Hey, Jimmy. You feeling better? Got any new ideas for the new channel video? Oh, let's face it. Every time I come up with a new idea, Coach Rocco is just always going to be there cleaning to ruin it. Huh. I'll never get a YouTube play button like you. I guess I just have to accept that the only thing I'm really good at is the old Jimmy Spinneroony. Jimmy, that's it, the Spinneroony. Why don't you teach your Jimmeroonies how to do the Spinneroony? Come on. Oh. Are you ready, Jimmy? And we're live. Hi everyone, it's me, Ellie Sparkles, and I'm one of Jimmy's bestest friends. Have you ever wanted to do a spinneroony in gym class but didn't know how? Well, now you will, because Jimmy's hosting an all-exclusive workshop on how to do the spinneroony, and it's right here, right now. Let's do this. Hello, world, and hello to all you special Jimmeroonies. It's your lucky day, because today I'll be teaching you how to do the hottest new basketball move, the Jimmy Spinneroony. Step one, do a bunch of dribbling. Really pound that ground. Once you have the basketball in your hands, you're going to want to do three big spins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then once that's done, you go in for the Rooney. And make sure you yell as loud as you can, spin a Rooney. The crowd goes wild. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. And that's how it's done. <laughs> and cut. That was awesome, Jimmy. You're bound to get a million subscribers now. Ooh, what's my number at? Am I at a million? Oh, let's see. Looks like you're at 200. 200? Do you realize what this means? All right, all 200 of you Jimmeroonies, I have a very special assignment for you. You each have to tell 5,000 of your closest friends about this channel. And as your reward, I'll do a very special new Spinneroonie for you. It's called the $1 million Dunk. Woo! Oh, no. Do I hear vacuuming? Coach Rocco, not again. <laughs> oh, well, somebody's got a vacuum out here. Look how dusty it is. It's a whole <laughs> world of dust. And you know what dust is made out of? It's old skin. Yeah, that could give you allergies. Allergies is Mother's Nature's way of saying, you need to clean your dirty house. <laughs> cut, cut, And everywhere cut. is a dirty house. Coach, it? maybe you should do your own cleaning channel. <gasps> what a great... Yeah. Let's do it now. Oh, okay. Hello, all you Coach Alinos. Welcome to Rocco's Cleaning Channel. <laughs> Bend at the knees here and then... <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Well, guess you're not too bad after all. But now it's time for the living room spin a Rooney. Oh. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. No, I guess it still needs some perfecting. Let me go grab it. Oh, go Rocco. I see you found the ball. That was really nice of you. Sorry about the face. How many times have I told you not to play basketball inside? Now, why don't we do an activity today that doesn't involve a ball or a phone? Why don't we read a book a Rooney? Book a Rooney? That's just not right. You know what? That's a great idea, Coach. What book do you want to read? 
How about we read one of my favorites? Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time. All right, Little Red Riding Hood. I want you to head over to Granny's before sundown. Now I made all of Granny's extra special treats for her 99th birthday. And I want you to be there on time because she gets a little cranky if she doesn't get her birthday presents. Sure thing, Mama. What's in here anyway? Well, I made my famous broccoli cupcakes, anchovy muffins, and to top it all off, chocolate chip meatballs. <laughs> Sounds great. Are you sure Granny likes this stuff? Oh, she loves it. Oh, and one more thing. A delicious apple pie for dessert. There you go. Well, at least you'll have that. All right, I'm on my way to Granny's, Mama. See you later. All right. Uh, good luck out there, and uh, remember, it can get dangerous in the forest. And don't talk to strangers. La, 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 la. Only a few more minutes until I get to Granny's house. Jimmy! I mean, uh, a Hey, what's up? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Who are you? You mean you don't know who I am? Oh, come on. Big ears, fluffy tail, paws. I'm the big bad wolf. The biggest and baddest wolf in the whole school. I mean, uh, Forest, aren't you scared? No, not really. Doesn't ring a bell. Plus, you're fuzzy and cute. Oh man, I knew that I looked too cute to be taken seriously as a big bad wolf. I'll never get the hang of this. Anyway, what can I do for you, Mr. Wolf? Hmm, how about we play some basketball? Yeah, big bad wolves love basketball. Check this out, Little Red. I call it the wolf a -Rooney. Wait, basketball? There's no basketball in Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, come on. Don't you think that it would be way cooler if the big bad wolf played basketball and he could teach all his little wolf friends how to do the wolf a -Rooney? Stay focused, Jimmy. Everybody knows that wolves don't play basketballs. Their claws would pop those basketballs right open. Now let's get back to the story. Anyway. So, Miss Little Red Riding Hood, what you got in your basket there? Oh, I've just got some goodies for Granny. I've got some anchovy muffins, Ooh. broccoli cupcakes, Yum. oh, and some chocolate chip meatballs. Wow, those sound like the tastiest treats ever, especially for a really hungry big bad wolf like me. What do you say I take a little free sample? Right, not. This is for Granny's 99th birthday, you know. She's gonna eat every last bite. Aw, fiddlesticks. Hmm, now say, this granny of yours, just where might she live? Oh, you know, just over by the grassy path, across the cranny brook, and by the chestnut tree. Oh, interesting, very interesting. Well, since I can't have any of your goodies, I guess I'll just be on my way. But make sure to tell granny that I said, Happy birthday, and that I hope her party is simply delicious. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that. Boy, oh boy, did that wolf have no manners at all. Well, I guess he was raised by wolves after all. I heard that. This must be Granny's house, and no sign of Little Red anywhere. Granny will have no idea that it's actually a wolf at her door. Not with this awesome disguise. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, Granny, it's me, your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. Trick or treat. Wait a second. Halloween? I don't remember that being in the story. Oh, come on. Let's just leave it in. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Please. All right, we'll roll with it. <laughs> uh, trick or treaters? I thought Halloween was months ago. Well, there's no treats here. I'm sorry. <gasps> Silly granny. Don't you recognize your own granddaughter? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, and I've got goodies for you. So let me in and we'll have a feast, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Oh, wait, sorry, uh, wrong fairy tale. Oh. Tee -hee. Well, it does sound like Little Red. Go ahead, come in. <laughs> oh, Little Red, I'm 
so glad you're here. It just wouldn't feel like my birthday without those chocolate chip meatballs. Gotcha! I'm not Little Red at all. I'm the Big Bad Wolf. Ow! Big Bad Wolf? You're the Big Bad Wolf. Why are you wearing that orange hat? And why do you have that cute, fluffy tail? Uh, because I'm a very fashionable wolf. I don't know. And also, I'm not cute. I'm big and bad and scary. And now, I'm going to eat you. Eat me? Why would you eat me? I'm not very delicious. <laughs> because I'm a wolf, and you're a grandma, and this is a fairy tale, and wolves eat grandmas, obviously. Hold on, hold on. Jimmy keeps saying that he's supposed to eat me. That can't be right. Well, that's what it says right here in the book. The wolf is supposed to eat the grandma. I think technically the wolf does eat the grandma in the story, but I think we can change it around this time. Yeah, why can't the wolf just chase the granny away? Huh. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, the big wolf's trying to eat me! Help! Ah! You can run, but you can't hide, granny. I'll get you sooner or later. And now to wait for little Red Riding Hood and her basket of goodies. Ow! La, 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 la. I made it to granny's. Just in time. Hey, Granny, are you in there? I got your goodies. Happy birthday. That's weird. The door's open. Granny? Granny, are you in here? Oh, hey. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, my favorite granddaughter. Thank goodness you've come. Granny's starving. How about some goodies? Uh-uh-uh. You look a little off, Granny. Are you sure you're feeling OK? Oh, uh, well, uh, turning 99 takes quite a toll on a woman, you see. But once I have those goodies, I'll look all better. Oh, but Granny, what big eyes you have. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear. But Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, what a great big orange basketball you have. The better to do spinneroonies with, my dear. Spinneroonies? You're not my Granny. You're Jimmy. I mean, the Big Bad Wolf. That's right. Now time for a snack. No! Jimmy, how long am I supposed to sit in that dark closet? It's getting stuffy in there. Coach Rocco, I mean, Granny, I'm not Jimmy. I am the Big Bad Wolf. You're ruining the story again. You can't expect me to sit in there all night. I'm supposed to be a 99-year-old woman. Guys, stop! Now I'm going to eat this apple pie all by myself if you two don't stop fighting. See you in the living room. Apple pie? Wait for me. So long, Granny. Hey, it's my 99th birthday. I should get the first slice, not some silly wolf. And so, Little Red Riding Hood, Granny, and the wolf all ate the apple pie and lived happily ever after. Wow, what a story, Coach. Yeah, that was quite the fairy tale. I sure am glad that those things are just fake and not real, though. Anyway, what do you say we get some apple pie? I'm hungry. Jimmy, what are those? Uh-oh. I think the fairy tale might be coming true. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe they fell for that? This is just my wolf costume from last Halloween. Anyway, about that apple pie. Uh-oh. What's this? I didn't put this on. Where did this come from? Oh! Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon. Wow, nice shot, Ellie. But uh, your form is a little off. Let me show you how a real basketball expert does it. <laughs> Time for the Jimmy Spin a Rooney! Scooter race? Yeah, why not? <laughs> You're on, Jimmy. Nice try with the ball, though. Ugh. Hey, no fair. <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't that Coach Rocco? Who's he with? Huh. I think that must be his mom. He told me she was coming up for Mother's Day. Awesome!
mom, Coach Rocco's mom is here. I have to meet her. She must be just like Coach Rocco. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you want to meet Coach Rocco's mom, give me a big thumbs up. Woo! Hey, wait a second. What about our scooter race? Ellie, you know, this doesn't count as a head start. Hey, Mama, thanks for coming over to visit. I'm going to make this Mother's Day the best ever, just for you. Oh, thank you, Rocky Poo Poo. Now, why don't I fix us a nice snack? You're looking a little skinny. Oh, Mama, I'm fine. You must be tired after your trip. Why don't you go in the TV room and relax? I'll be right there. OK, anything for my little Rocky Poo Poo? Ooh, a TV room. I wonder if there's cartoons on. You just go in the TV room and put your feet up. I'll be right there. Hey, Coach Rocco. Hey, was that your mom? Oh, yes, that's good old Mama Rocco. Now, I'm so glad I ran into you two. I need a favor. All right, just name it. Well, I didn't have time to get a Mother's Day present, so I need you two to stay here and entertain Mama Rocco while I run to the store. I promise I'll be quick. Sounds easy, right, Jimmy? Yeah, sure. So what does Mama Rocco like to do? Play a little basketball? Maybe Roblox? Ooh, how about a scooter race? No, she doesn't know anything about Roblox or computer and even less about scooter races. How about some safe activities like cooking or scrapbooking? Ooh, you're now you're talking my language. I love to scrapbook. I'm going to get all my arts and crafts together and we'll have a nice time in the living room. Sure, and while you're doing that, how about I make a nice big Mother's Day lunch for everyone? How about my world famous peanut butter and jelly tacos? Oh, this is some TV room. Ooh, the lights. Oh, and a camera? Is this thing on? Hello out there! It's me, Mama Rocco! <laughs> Hi, Mama Rocco! Nice to meet you! I'm Ellie Sparkles! Yes, I know Ellie Sparkles! My Rocky Boo Boo's always talking about you! <laughs> awesome! Well, I have some scrapbooking materials and some other arts and crafts in my bag right now, and I was wondering if you wanted to go play with me a little bit. A scrapbooking? <laughs> that sounds like something you do with your grandmother. <laughs> um, what are you doing here? Couldn't we um, make a YouTube video or something? <laughs> yeah, lucky for you, we are in the Ellie Sparkle Studio. This is where I film all my YouTube videos. So this is where the magic happens. I love it, these lights, this backdrop, this camera. <gasps> Maybe my channel could be called Mama Rocco's Dance Party. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Hey, why don't we try out a video? You know, just have a little practice. Lights, camera, and action. What's up, Sparkle Squad? What are you up to today? Because I am going to be dancing with my new friend, Mama Rocco. And this is Mama Rocco's dance party. <laughs> Hello, all you boys and girls out there. This dance is called the Mama Rocco Cha Cha Chuni Tristaroni. <laughs> all right, and take it, it away. It goes a little something like this. Cha 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 Cha. And back, and back, and forward, and kick, and kick, and kick, and twist. <laughs> All right, now see if you can do it, Ellie. And cha 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 cha. And back, and back, and forward, and forward, and kick, and, and a kick. twist, yes. And a twist. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a hit. <laughs> Welcome to Chef Jimmy's Kitchen. I got the toast in the toaster already and the orange for the juice right over there. Come with me and I'll show you how it works. All I gotta do is put this orange on top of this here, squeeze a little bit, and voila, we'll have a full glass of juice. Let's try it. Huh? Is that all the juice you got, Mr. Orange? What a letdown. Oh no, the toast! Uh-oh, I hope Mama Rocco doesn't mind her toast a little bit well done. I got an idea. I'll cover it with jelly. That way, Mama Rocco will never be able to tell that it got a little bit burnt. Oh, no! Perfect. 
good as new. Wait a minute, is this jelly or hot sauce? Uh-oh, I sure hope Mama Rocco likes spicy food. Ooh, something smells delicious in here. It smells like uh, burnt. It sure does smell uh, interesting in here. Hey, Jimmy, need any help cooking? No, 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 no. The Chef Jimmy Luncheroonie special is all done. One piece of toast, burnt to a crisp, and with a little bit of spice, just how you like it. Oh, so you're Jimmy, the kid with the orange shirt and the orange cap. I didn't know you were a chef, too. That's right, and you're about to find out just how good of a chef I am. Well, let's see. Mama, please, let me get you another piece of toast. That one's just a little bit overdone, maybe. Nonsense, it looks delicious. Besides, I love my toast extra crispy. Are you sure? It may be a little bit too spicy, too. Mmm, oh, crispy, just like I like it. <laughs> Mmm, and spicy! Whoa! Mm. <laughs> ah! And water, please. Orange juice. I got juice. More, if you need more. It. Okay. <laughs> so, what other activities do you have lined up for Mama Rocco today? <laughs> um. Well, we have basketball, and we also have scooter races, and we have oh. Sounds like a gas. Let's get to it, kids. Okay, Mama, are you ready for the big scooter race? First one to the bottom of the hill wins. I'm always ready for a race. <laughs> are you sure you're ready, Mama Rocco? Have you ever ridden a scooter before? Scooters? I've been riding scooters since I was a little girl. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you and Jimmy just how to do the Mama Rocco Scooter Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Oh, Elio, thank God. It took me longer than I thought to find the perfect Mother's Day gift. <laughs> Where's Mama? She must be exhausted after all the arts and crafts, right? Oh, no, she doesn't seem tired at all. In fact, she did so many things today. She played video games, started a YouTube channel, and even ate all the spicy toast that Jimmy made for her. Your mom's really fun to hang out with. Mama did what? Where's Mama now? Oh, well, she's on her scooter racing Jimmy right now. See, they're so close. Oh, no. Mama, you're going to hurt yourself. Jimmy, I told you no races. Mama, Mama. <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Yeah! Boy, I love superhero movies. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you should watch a superhero movie with us. Oh, I'd love to sit here and watch TV all day, but it's cleaning day, huh? And this place is a mess, but you can help me when it's all over. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, not cleaning day. I bet superheroes never have to do chores. Hm. Ellie, do you have any idea how somebody might become a superhero? Well, in the movies we've seen, you could come from outer space or get bit by a spider. But that's all make-believe. You know you can't get out of chores on cleaning day. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I'll never be a superhero. May as well get the chores over with. Whoa! Something just touched my arm! Oh, sorry, Jimmy. It was probably my just- Spider! It was definitely a spider. No, Jimmy, it was definitely Coach- Spider bite! 
I know it was a spider bite, and I can already feel it giving me superpowers. Oh, don't be silly, Jimmy. You know it's not real. <laughs> oh, yeah? I can prove that it's real. My superpowers are telling me that Coach Rocco is about to come in and say, Okay, you two, it's time to start cleaning. Okay, you two, it's time to start cleaning. Come on. It's real. It's real. I knew it was real. I'm a superhero. And I can't wait to figure out what other superpowers I have. Here he comes to save the day. Get back here, Jimmy. Coach, it's going to be a long day today. If I know Jimmy, he's going to be on this for a really long time. Boys and girls, if you want to see Jimmy be a superhero, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Let's get to some choice. Phew, Coach Rocco, we've been raking for a really long time. Oh, yeah, and we got tons more left. But good job, Ellie. Thank you. You know, this would go a lot faster if we had somebody else to help. Did somebody say help? Yeah, Jimmy, I was just saying how you should help us rake. Yeah, here, have a rake. Ah, uh, no thanks, Coach Rocco. This calls for someone special. In fact, this is a job for... Super Jimmy! Ta-da! Jimmy, are you still on that superhero thing again? It is I, Super Jimmy, the bravest and strongest superhero in the world, and I'm here to save the day. And who's that with you? This is Stinky Boy, the strongest skunk in all the forest. Every superhero has a sidekick. Haven't you ever read a comic book? All right, everybody, grab a rake and start going. No can do, Ellie, because this is a job for Super Jimmy. Here, Coach Rocco, hold my skunk. Activate Super Speed Aruni. Mission accomplished! All the leaves have been returned to their original positions, just as requested. Jimmy, what did you do? We spent all day raking these leaves and now you've just gone and messed it all up. I hope you and Stinky Boy have the superpowers to clean up this mess. You're in for a long day of cleaning, Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, no need to thank me, trusted citizens. My work here is done. Now I'm off to save the day elsewhere. Super Jimmy! Da -da 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 -da. All right, come on in, coach. Let's get you cleaned up. Stinky Boy did a good number on you, huh? Yes, right up the nose. Ugh. Do you need some milk for those eyes? Yes. I finally finished all my chores for today, and that means homework time. Now for art class, I'm supposed to be making my own costume out of construction paper. Well, I've got the construction paper here, and I'm gonna make a witch's hat. Just gotta snip, snip, snip. Hmm, what's Ellie doing in there? Wow, that's a lot of construction paper. And you know what happens when there's a lot of paper. That's right, paper cuts. Oh no, Ellie's a goner. She's done for. Someone's gotta save her. This looks like a job for Super Jimmy and his trusty sidekick, Stinky Boy. I'll save you, Ellie. No. <laughs> Super Jimmy, you two save the day. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? Oh, by the way, Coach Rocco has been looking for you all day ever since you messed up his lawn with all the leaves. Hold that thought, Ellie. My Super Jimmy senses are telling me that you are in danger of receiving a paper cut. Here, hold my skunk. Huh? Activate Super Jimmy muscles! Jimmy, what did you do that for? That was my homework! <laughs> no need to thank me, Ellie. No more paper, no more paper cut. All right, I'm off to save the day. Elsewhere, see you around, Ellie. Huh? Jimmy, you love Stinky here, too. Good, Stinky. Don't do anything bad, Stinky. I'll get you a treat from Ellie's drawer. Yeah, 
man, this Jimmy superhero thing is getting out of control. We need to think of something. Tell me about it, coach. He ruined my project, threw out my lunch, and made chore day way harder than it has to be. But don't worry, I have a plan. Just follow my lead. Help! I need a strong, brave superhero! Is there anyone like that around here? I think he's coming. <laughs> okay. Did somebody say Super Jimmy? Ooh, and his trusty sidekick, Stinky Boy, to the rescue. Just what I needed, and just like in my favorite comic book ever, Super Jimmy Volume 1. What? They made a comic book about me? Oh, here, Coach Rocco, hold my skunk. That's so cool. About time. Yep, it has everything about your story. How you clean the leaves on the lawn, how you prevented me from getting a paper cut. How you stopped us from eating a delicious dinner I was cooking all day. <laughs> My greatest hits, how could I forget? And it even has information about your super secret superhero weakness. Superhero weakness? <laughs> What's that? No, no, no. Jimmy's the strongest hero in the whole world. I don't need a weakness. Oh, but every superhero has a weakness. You know, something that takes away its superpowers. Huh, well, uh, I'm not gonna sweat it. You know, besides, whatever my superhero weakness happens to be, I just have to avoid it and I'll be fine, right? Okay, tell me, what's my weakness? Well, according to volume one, your weakness is... Basketball. Basketball? But how can that be? It's been my life's mission and my greatest dream to bring the Jimmy Spinneroonie to the entire world. Well, you're just gonna have to choose saving the day or basketball. Oh. All right, stinky boy. This is gonna be our greatest challenge yet. We have to choose. Superhero or Spinneroonie? Superhero, Spinneroonie. Superhero, Spinneroonie. Ah, don't make me choose. Making his grand return to the Superstar Basketball League, it's Jimmy and his famous Jimmy spin -a Rudy. Woo! It's a good thing that Jimmy chose basketball. I don't know how much a Super Jimmy we could have taken. <laughs> nice to have things back to normal. Good old regular Jimmy is the best Jimmy. <laughs> I learned that even though I can't be a superhero, I can still be a superstar. <laughs> Coach, catch! Uh, my turn, my turn! <laughs> do spin a rooney, do spin a rooney! Super spin a rooney! Woo! <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! The pool's open! Last one in's a rotten egg! Whoa! Oh, actually, it looks a little bit cold. You know what, Ellie, on second thought, why don't you just jump in? Ladies first. Um, why don't we test it out together? Let's dip a toe in. Ah! Ooh, Ooh, that's definitely cold. cold. So cold. Hello there, summer campers! I'm glad I caught you before you dived in. Coach Rocco did a boo-boo and I forgot to turn on the pool heater. So no pool today, it's too cold. No, that's fine, Coach Rocco, don't worry about it. I'll just play some Roblox on my phone instead. What other activities have we got lined up, Coach Rocco? Well, I figured we could uh, decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, uh, have a snowball fight. Oh, hey guys, check out this super cool new challenge. Oh, I've heard about this. This is the scavenger hunt challenge. You're supposed to take three pictures of nature and then post on Instagram and you'll win an all-you-can-eat pizza party. An all-you-can-eat pizza party? Oh, we got to do this challenge. Then I can show you all how many pieces of pizza I can eat. You just need to find these three things. A woodpecker, some long-lost treasure, and a beaver dam. And with all the forests and streams around here, we're sure to win! And we can use my cool flip phone! <laughs> Coach Rocco, I don't even think that phone has a camera. I sure it does. <laughs> Look. Boys and girls, if you want to help me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy win this all-you-can-eat pizza party, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Come on, team, let's head out! We got some pizza to win! Yeah! <laughs> Where's Jimmy? He's supposed to help us find this woodpecker. Last I heard from Jimmy, he was supposed to help us find the long lost treasure part of the challenge. Well, we shouldn't be separated. These woods are dangerous. You never know what you'll find. 
It's not too dangerous. I mean, summer camp is right over there. You don't know. There could be an angry gorilla waiting up there. Or a hippopotamus with its mouth wide open. I assure you there are no gorillas or hippopotamuses. Around. Giraffes. Giraffes? No giraffes. Bears! Well, maybe bears. <laughs> What's that? It's a bear! I don't think that's a bear. What is that? Uh-oh. It's... It's... What? Run! Uh, oh, no need to run, Ellie. It's a kitty cat. How are you doing? You shouldn't be out here all on your own. It's dangerous. <laughs> what gorgeous colors you have. Aww. Coach! Coach! Wait, Coach? Oh! He ran so far and so fast I must have lost him. I hope he's doing okay with that skunk. Coach is right. These woods can be a little bit dangerous. I should probably stay on the edge of the woods. Wait, did you hear that? Huh, sounds like somebody hammering a nail up a tree. I gotta check this out. <gasps> wow, look at that! It's a woodpecker. It's so pretty. Look at all its colors and that beak. That must be what that hammering noise was earlier. The woodpecker is using his beak to hammer into the tree to find insects to eat. Unfortunately, woodpeckers are in danger, which means there are far less now than there were before. That means we have to be responsible and make sure that we protect these little creatures. <laughs> and that means staying far away from them and only taking photos of them if we want to keep a memory of them. All right, time to take this picture of the woodpecker before it flies away. Zooming in. Got it. Step one of the scavenger hunt complete. Ellie, Ellie, look what I found. Hi, Jimmy. Is that a metal detector? I call it a treasure finder. I tried to ask Coach Rocco to show me how to use it, but he's too busy playing with Stinky the cat. Stinky the cat? You mean Stinky the skunk? And Coach is playing with it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't figure out how this works. Well, I've seen Coach Rocco use this to find loose coins in the yard. Basically, all I have to do is turn these little knobs right here. Here we go. <gasps> and when it beeps, <laughs> that's when you know you found something. Awesome. Did you find anything yet? Well, how about now? When it beeps, Jimmy. Anything? Well, are you sure it's working? Anything? When it beeps! Anything? What about now? Anything? Jimmy. Anything yet? Jimmy. Oh, come on, I thought I heard something. Anything? Jimmy, wait. You sure? Jimmy. Anything. What about now? What Jimmy! About now? <gasps> Do you hear that? <gasps> that means that there's something under here, and it could be long lost treasure. Treasure, here I come. <laughs> oh, come to Jimmy. We're rich, I tell you. They're jewels, Ellie, they're jewels. <laughs> what? This looks more like a girly bracelet, not treasure. Jimmy, that's my old bracelet from last year that I thought I'd lost. Oh my gosh, I was so sad when I lost it. This truly is long lost buried treasure. Quick, take a photo of it. All right, say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> awesome. Step two of the scavenger hunt complete. All right, well, you can keep your girly treasure. I'm off to find some big boy treasure. We're gonna be rich, I tell you. We can live like kings. But Jimmy, we have one last step of the scavenger hunt to do. <sighs> oh well, I gotta go do it by myself. Oh, with the help of you, Sparkle Squad. Yay! Next we have to find a beaver dam. Well, I know beavers like to build dams near water, so let's find a pond or stream nearby. Come on, let's do this. So this is the longest stream I can find on campgrounds. Hmm, beavers like to build their dams along streams, so this should be the perfect place. 
Mr. Beaver, where are you? Mm -hmm. Let me take a look. <gasps> I think I see one over there. Yep, that's a beaver, all right. It looks like he's finding sticks to build his dam. <gasps> Did you know that beavers can hold their breath for 15 minutes underwater? That is longer than me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy put together. They're so cool. Let's get closer. <gasps> What's that over there? I think I see it. It's the beaver dam. Beaver dams are awesome. Firstly, because beavers use their big teeth to chop up small trees to make it. And it's a place to store their food, and it's a home for them to sleep in. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. Thanks, Mr. Beaver. Got it. That's one, two, three shots uploaded. And that means we won the scavenger hunt challenge. Yay! I'm so hungry for pizza, I gotta tell the others. <laughs> Ellie, there you are. You're not gonna believe this. Give me that. Ow! Oh, that's much better. Turns out my cat that Coach Rocco spent all day with wasn't a cat after all. It's really a skunk, and he really is stinky, too. Yeah, stinky allowed me to believe he was a cat all day, and then he had the nerve to spray me. I was sprayed and betrayed. <laughs> Today is a terrible day. To make things worse, I didn't find any buried treasure either. All I found was an old shoe. I guess that means we don't win the scavenger hunt, huh? Well, while you guys were getting sprayed and finding shoes in the yard, I've actually been the one completing the scavenger hunt challenge. You know what? It was pretty hard, but you know what this means. Pizza! Now I can finally show you how many slices I can eat. Yeah! It just goes to show when you're focused on your goals, you can achieve anything. But before mm. you can eat any more, I need you to do one more last thing. Take a bath, please. Especially you, go Draco. Oh, well I heard that when you get sprayed, you can take a bath in tomato sauce and that gets rid of the smell. So maybe if I take some pizza and rub it on myself, that'll that'll help, right? <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Sparkle Squad, guess who's here? It's Jordan, my number one bestie. Hey there, Sparkle Squad. Jordan's helping me throw the coolest celebration of the year. Coolest celebration of the year? Oh, I get it. You two are planning my birthday party. You know, you're a little early. It's still eight months away. But I guess it's never too soon to start planning for the biggest day of the year. Um, actually, Jimmy, we're planning for LOL, LOL Surprise, Surprise 707 Day. Yep. LOL is throwing the coolest party ever. You know, it's on July 7th. And if you turn LOL upside down, it turns into 707. I see you brought the box of party decorations. Awesome! It's the new tween dolls. Hoops cutie and freshest. I can't wait to open these up. Come on, let's go upstairs and start setting up. Do you need any help with the box? Oh no, it's not that heavy. Oh, don't worry about a thing. Jimmy's got it. I wasn't voted strongest boy in school three years in a row for nothing, you know. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, oh okay. Um, see you upstairs. Yep, it's five floors, Jimmy. See you up there. Five floors. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom, or should I say the LOL Surprise party room. I've already started to decorate. Awesome! This will be perfect for LOL Surprise 707 Day. Hmm, I have an idea. What if we put some LOL Surprise balloons over here by the window? Oh, nice one, yeah. But where should we put the tween dolls? Hmm, I'd put Hoops Cutie in the middle and Fresh is right next to her. <laughs> that sounds great. Box, box, very heavy. Let me help you with that. Oh. Oh. So, Jimmy, you gonna help us finish decorating? It's gonna be a pretty fierce party. Yeah, and we can even watch the first ever LOL Surprise Day virtual concert starring that girl, Lele. Thanks, guys. That sounds cute and all, but I got pretty big plans of my own, you know. 
got that birthday party to start thinking about. Only eight months to go until the big day. But you know, your thing sounds fun too. Hey, maybe I'll see you around. All right, well you can come party with us anytime you want. So, you ready to start decorating? Totally. Boys and girls, if you want to help Jordan and I throw the fiercest LOL surprise 707 day party, give me a big thumbs up. Ooh, what's in here? These tween dolls are so cute. Oh, oops, cutie. Precious, oh my gosh. Our hair looks almost the same. Oh my god, that's so cool. This video is a paid advertisement for LOL Surprise. Go Traco, go Traco! Just the person I wanted to see. Are you busy? Well, I was just about to have some lunch. Perfect, you can help me out then. Ellie and Jordan are throwing a big party for 707 Day. You should see Ellie's room. It's filled with party balloons and LOL toys, and they're even gonna have a surprise virtual music concert. That sounds like some party. Do you think she has an invitation for me? Because I'd really love to go. No, 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 you can't go, because you and I are gonna throw our own party, and it's gonna be way better than Ellie and Jordan's silly little party. The best part is, we're gonna do a virtual music concert of our own. That's right, we're gonna be broadcast to the entire World. Entire world. Everything for our concert is all set up. As soon as I press record, you and me will be broadcast to the entire world. Wait till Lily and Jordan see this. All right, three, two, one, action. What's up, world? Today we're here to celebrate 818 Day. Uh, what is 818 Day, Jimmy? I'm glad you asked, Coach Rocco. 818 Day is one better than 707 Day. And to celebrate the occasion, I wrote a little song. Take it away, Coach Rocco. What's the greatest day of the year that everyone has been waiting for? 707. Yeah, what? No, no, 818 Day, Coach Rocco. 818. And what day of the year has the biggest party with all your friends? 707. No! 818 day, Coach Rocco, okay? Got it this time, please. And what day of the year has the release of the brand new hottest toy in town? 707? No, Coach Rocco, 818 day is the release of the brand new Jimmy Basketball Rooney. But I thought we were gonna release the new LOL tween doll, isn't it? And what happens when you turn 818 upside down? Uh, it's, it's 818. It's, it's eight. See, you know, 707's a lot cooler because it's LOL, and then you flip it, and it's 707. Huh? Why don't, why don't we go to Ellie's party? Ah. Okay, Jordan, so it's not exactly 707 day yet, but how about we give ourselves an early treat and unbox one of these LOL surprise tween dolls? Wow, look at the size of these dolls. Different than the other LOL dolls. Yeah, you know what, that's right. Because they're a bit younger than the OMG dolls, but older than the LOL dolls, so they're right in between. You know, they're in between who they are and who they want to be. Like Hoops Cutie here, when she was younger, she used to play a lot of basketball, but now she's more interested in basketball fashion. Or Freshest. She loved listening to music when she was younger, but now she wants to make her own fresh beats. <laughs> and LOL surprise tween dolls wouldn't be LOL surprise dolls if they didn't come with a bunch of cool surprises. This one comes with 15 surprises. Yeah. I can't wait any longer. Let's open these. She's so cute. <gasps> Whoa! Check her out. Oh my goodness, oh my we're pretty gosh. much matching with the hair. I love her hair and it's so soft. So and her hair's awesome. Wow. And look at her outfit, it's so cute. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what we can unbox here. Hmm, looks like something soft, maybe? Oh, it's pink and orange and, oh, look you guys, it's a jacket. How cute is this? <laughs> it looks so good together. All right, let's keep opening up some surprises. Right here. You have a this or that book. Let me give you a little this or that quiz. 
Would you rather have sneakers or heels? Sneakers. Good answer. What does yours say? Kitty cats or puppy dogs? Oh my gosh, that's the hardest one ever. Oh, I gotta say both. <laughs> These are so much fun. Ooh, and it's got a place in here. It's a bedroom. So there's the bed, and there's a bookcase on the other side. And there's little surprises in the playset as well. Let's open these up. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, I got hair accessories. They're wow. super tiny. Uh, oh, this one feels big. I got, oh, I got a ton of accessories. Wow. I got sunglasses. Basketball earrings? A comb? A, a bracelet or a necklace? Oh, it's a necklace and it has MVP on it. Oh, and a cell phone? And a cell phone. And she's searching up shoes. It's gold on the back. <laughs> and it's gold on the back with a basketball wow. sticker. So cool. Here, Here we go. go. <laughs> Hoops cutie looks so cool. Let's see, are there any more surprises in here? I think so. It's right in the bed. <gasps> Whoa. Pull this out? Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay, there's more. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I got a bag, I got a basketball bag. A basketball Isn't it so basketball. cute? Oh my gosh, and it's pink. It's pink, and it's gold. There we go. She's got her cool new bag. <laughs> I have one more surprise, I completely forgot. I got shoes too. Check out my shoes, Jordan. Oh wow, I love those. Okay, here is Freshest with her fanny pack on. I think that's it with all the surprises, but there's just one more surprise that we haven't even covered yet. It's the bedroom playset. <laughs> so, the box is also the bedroom. And the box with some of the surprises, furniture for the bedroom. So she can be asleep on the bed, or doing her homework, or it can be a chill space, or a bookshelf. <laughs> this is so cool. I know, right? I love her room so much. I need to decorate my room like this. It's so Me cute. Me too. They're so fashionable, and they're so cute. And they're figuring out who they are, which is really, really cool of them. Her hair is so cute. I love her afro. I'm going to give her a break. Ooh, I wonder what Freshest would look like with her hair completely out. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool with the black and the blue mixed together. Totally. Ooh. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Coach Rocco, what's up? Yes, I mean, I will. Ellie, do you happen to have any extra tickets maybe for the LOL Surprise 707 Day Party for Coach Rocco and me? Um, I don't know. Jordan, do we have any extra invitations? For these two? Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to the LOL Surprise 707 Day Party, the fiercest celebration ever. Yes, we did it. High five. Boom. Oh, Jamie, you would love Hoops Cutie. She loves basketball and she has these super cool hoop earrings. I wow. mean, basketball earrings. Yeah. These are pretty stylish. <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Yeah. Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Butters! Come out, come out wherever you are. Where is that cat? Oh, Butters, delicious cookies here. Where is that cat? I thought I saw him just a little while ago. Uh, he's probably just hiding like most cats like to do. Hey, do you have a favorite toy or something we can use to lure him out with? Good idea, Coach. You know I've been training Butters to walk on a leash. Hey, Butters, you want to go for a little walkie? I have an even better idea. Hey, Butters, if you come on out, I'll teach you how to do the Jimmy spin a -rooney. Oh, no, no, no spin a -rooney. The last time you tried to do that, Butters got so scared he ended up on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should try that again. You know, it was really difficult to get him down the first time. Well, hold on. Let's get one thing straight. 
The only reason that Butters jumped on the roof was so he could get away from your yucky kitty cookies. Blech. Another thing, if Butters did jump on the roof again, I would just rescue him heroically, just like I did last time. Ha! You rescued him? <laughs> you have quite the imagination, Jimmy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course I rescued Butters. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh no, Butters, how did you get up there? Come on down. Oh, quick guys, I need some help. Come down, Butters, come on. Butters is stuck up on the roof. Oh, don't worry, Ellie, I'll save him. Now, Jimmy, I'll handle this. I'm the adult here. Here, hold these cookies. Ugh, these cookies are no good, even to a cat. They don't smell so good, that's for sure. Mm. Ah, there we go. Now. Go, Coach, go! <laughs> no, I can't. What? What's happening? I just remembered. I'm afraid of heights. Oh. Come on, Coach Rocco, you can do it. We'll help you. No, yeah. no, no, no. Ellie, push. Come on, Coach! Go get Butters! You're almost no, there. No, no. Butters is just going to have to stay up there forever. That's his new forever home. We need somebody super brave and super cool to come save Butters from the roof. That's impossible. Nobody's that brave or cool. This sounds like a job for... <laughs> super Jimmy! It is I, Super Jimmy. Stand aside, everyone. I'll save your cat. Activate Super Polite Powers. Ah, another successful landing. We hope you enjoyed your flight aboard Super Jimmy Airlines. Butters! Butters! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Super Jimmy. Butters, I will never let you out of my sight ever again. You really are the bravest superhero around, Jimmy. No need to thank me, Ellie. I'm just doing my job. I'm off to save the day elsewhere, Super Jimmy. Oh, Butters, you must be hungry from being stuck up there all day, huh? You like that? This is an old family recipe. I smell cookies. Ah! Whew. Sorry, Coach Rocco, but those are way too icky for any cat to eat. I don't want to have to save Butters twice today, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? My recipe does need a little work. <laughs> Not only is Jimmy super brave, but he's also super smart. <laughs> well, you guys. Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> and everybody clapped. And that's the story of how I saved Butters the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you're sure good at telling stories. Activate super flying powers. Yeah, that was my favorite part, too. You can sure tell a tall tale, Jimmy. <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. Wait a second, how do you remember it happening? Oh, well, but Butter's story isn't important, you guys. We gotta find him right now. Where could he be? Now, Ellie, I remember exactly how it happened. And it wasn't like Jimmy says it. I was in the kitchen cooking my delicious cookies. <sighs> Finally done. What's that smell? Are you baking an old pair of socks? Very funny, Jimmy. These are my famous kitty cookies. It's an old family recipe. Guys, come quick. Butters is stuck up on the roof. Is that Ellie? She sounds like she needs our help. Let's go. Don't worry, Ellie. I'll save him. Wait, Jimmy. I'm the adult here. I'll take care of this. As luck would have it, I was just baking my famous kitty cookies. It's an old family recipe. And I'll just use these delicious treats to entice Butters down. Here, hold these, I'll get a ladder. Yum, these cookies are totally going to work. Yuck, this is never gonna work. <sighs> yes, it will work, you'll see. Super push, push. Am I helping, am I helping? What are you doing? Come on, Coach Rocco, I'm trying to quit you up there. Jimmy, stop that, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Coach Rocco, are you okay? Oh. Jimmy, again with your superhero costume. Now knock that off, we gotta save Butters. Don't worry, everyone. Have no fear, Super Jimmy is here. Activate super flying powers. <laughs> ow, ow, pebble in my shoe, pebble in my shoe. I can't fly up there because I have a pebble in my shoe. Oh no, now we're really in trouble, Coach Rocco. What do we do now? Don't 
panic, don't panic, we still have my secret weapon, my famous kitty cookies. <laughs> Some superhero you are. Now watch and learn, Jimmy. Here, Butters. Here. Yeah. Delicious cookies. There you go. <laughs> Gently now. Does this kitty belong to you? Butters! Oh, I miss you so much. Coach Rocco, you really are a hero, aren't you? <laughs> wow, yeah, you turned out to be the real superhero after all. Super Rocco, not Super Jimmy. And you know, I was too silly to see it at first, but your cookies are actually delicious. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It was it was nothing really. <laughs> Three cheers for Coach Rocco. <gasps> hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! <laughs> hip hip hooray! Now that Ellie and Jimmy is how I rescued Butters. Ha! Ah, you obviously don't have too good of a memory because everyone knows that pebbles in the shoe are not Super Jimmy's secret weakness. It's chores. Everyone knows that. Did you even read The Adventures of Super Jimmy, issue 48? Okay, you both have had your versions of the story told. Now it's time for mine. The truth. This is how Butters got saved in the end. And it goes like this. Oh, Butters, come on down from there. Quick, guys, I need your help. Butters is stuck up on the roof. Oh, don't worry, Ellie. I can save him. I'm the adult here, Jimmy. Let me handle this. As luck would have it, I was just baking my famous kitty cookies. It's an old... Cookies? No way. This is a job for Super Jimmy. Would you cut it out with the superhero costume? Let me handle this. Here. Hold these cookies a second, I'll be back with a ladder. But you guys, I already have a plan. <sighs> All right, just hand me the cookies. Uh, 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 leave it to the superhero, please. Thank you very much. Super Jimmy, and this is a changing song. Jimmy, would you knock it off with the costume? We gotta get this cat down. Activate super flying powers. Ow! Oh! Pebble in my shoe. I think there's a pebble in my shoe. <laughs> Some superhero. Let the adult take care of this, please. No. It's very high. I'm afraid of heights. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, brother. <laughs> I thought you were the adult. I knew this would happen. Time for me to take care of things. Come here, Butters. Three, two, one, jump! Good job, Butters. Your training has really been paying off. You got him already? Oh, if you had given me five more seconds, I definitely would have flown up there and rescued him. No, he's hungry. Here, have a cookie, kitty. Yeah, have a... Ah! Ah! That's the real story of how Butters got saved. What? Actually, that sounds pretty accurate to me now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I know what I was thinking of. I was thinking of a different time when Super Jimmy saved the neighbor's cat from the roof. Just mixed up my kitties, that's uh. all. Uh -huh. Oh, Butters, I changed the recipe to the kitty cookies. Come and have a taste. Ugh, he's not going to want it if they smell like that. I know I don't. But what is he going to want to do? Play spin a Rooney all day? Yeah. No, cats hey want to nosh. Hey, guys, look, I found Butters. Hold you're on gonna... a second, Ellie. Cats want to nosh. They want to take naps. They want to play with yarn. They don't want to get squashed by a big basketball. Hey, Butters. Come on, Butters. Really Let's go leave candy. these two alone. Want to cook? No. No, yeah. like, I'm the envy of all the kids in school. In your world, but you're delusional. Cats, they want to play with yarn. They want to. <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Super spooky, wasn't it? It really was. I'm glad I was watching it with you guys. I don't think I could have watched that by myself. What do you think, Jimmy? Were you scared? Scared? Me? No, this is Jimmy you're talking about. I'm the bravest kid in school. I could have watched that movie by myself with the lights off in the middle of a haunted house, and I still wouldn't have been scared. So why are you all wrapped up in a blanket? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, funny story about that. I'm just... I'm getting a little chilly, you know? It's getting cold out. 
Aw, oh, Jimmy, you know it's okay to be scared, right? Me and Jordan were scared too. <laughs> you two are crazy. Just because you're a couple of scaredy cats doesn't mean that Jimmy is. Guess I'm just built different. Can't be scared. In fact, I challenge you. I predict that no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to scare me. <laughs> a challenge, huh? What do you think about that, Jordan? Bravest kid in school? We'll see about that. You're on, Jimmy. <laughs> Good luck, but I'm telling you, it's impossible. I've never been scared before, and I don't plan on starting now. Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, popcorn, anyone? This is gonna be easier than we thought. Oh yeah, for sure. Boys and girls, if you wanna see if Jordan and I can give Jimmy the scare of his life, give me a big thumbs up. Coach Rocco, are you eating the popcorn that fell on the couch? Uh, yeah, five second rule, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's Jimmy playing basketball as per usual, perfect. So tell me more about this plan. We're gonna scare Jimmy. Yep, that's the tricky part. So while Jimmy's playing basketball, we thought we'd dress up like a ghost and try to scare him. Do you wanna help us? Oh um, yeah, I'll be the best ghost you've ever seen. You'll never hear Jimmy say he's the bravest boy in school ever. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, Coach. Here's the costume, put it on. And while you're at it, why don't you work on some ghost noises to really scare him? Oh yeah, like this. Moo, moo. <laughs> that's close, Coach. But it's more like, ooh, you kind of sound like a cow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get those two mixed up. Okay, I'll go get dressed. This is going to be so much fun. Remember, ooh, not moo. Good luck. Good luck. You got this. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Bye, Coach. Ah, nothing better than a little b-ball by the pool. And it's time for me to do another one of my patented Jimmy Spinneroonies. Woo! The crowd goes wild. They're cheering. They're applauding. They're booing. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Where are those sounds coming from? They sound pretty spooky. Moo, 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 moo. Stay calm, Jimmy. Stay calm. If you stay quiet, he can't hurt you. Oh. Of all the days to not wear my anti-ghost underwear. <laughs> it's working. Come on, Trucko, you're almost there. Jimmy really thinks that's a ghost. Oh my gosh, he's falling for it. <gasps> Fiddle sticks. I can't see anything with this on. I think Ellie forgot to cut the eye holes in this thing. Where am I? Oh! 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 oh, oh. I knew it was you the whole time, Coach Rocco. Nice try, but everyone knows that ghosts can't swim. You really thought that I'd be scared of a silly little ghost? <laughs> if only. Well, I better help Coach Rocco out of the pool. You stay right here. Okay. It's like I always say, Coach Rocco, you just can't scare the bravest kid in school, no matter how hard you try or what you do. That's why, like I always say, bravest kid in school, bravest kid in school, bravest kid, bravest kid, and he wears the coolest hat. Oh, oh, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, oh no, Jimmy, are you okay? Oh, Ellie Sparkles. I should have known it was you. Well, let's just get one thing straight. You did not scare me. The only reason I jumped into the pool was, was to help Coach Rocco. Yeah, that's right. He asked me for some swim lessons. You okay, Coach? All right, Jimmy, if you say so. But there's a whole day left to scare you to go. <laughs> scare you later. Okay, so our first plan didn't go too perfectly, but the second one is foolproof for sure. This plan is perfect. Let's go through it one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna text Jimmy and tell him that there's gonna be a Roblox tournament in my bedroom, which he'll totally fall for. Mm -hmm. I'll hide under the covers of my bed while you hide in the closet. Then, bam! We both jump out and give Jimmy a double scare. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I can't wait to see his face. Looks like Ellie and Jordan are in Ellie's filming studio. What could those two be planning now? I'm gonna be Jimmy now. Boom! Ah! Yeah, I was like Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
A double scare, huh? More like a double fail. <laughs> Good one, Jimmy. I'm gonna ruin their plans again. You just can't trick or scare Jimmy. <laughs> okay, and set. Let's go get ready. Ooh, a text. Big Roblox tournament in my room, Jimmy. Come on up and play. <laughs> yeah, right, Ellie. I'm not falling for this one. Scare you later. Knock, knock. Is this where the big Roblox tournament's being held? Where is everyone? I sure don't want to miss that big Roblox tournament. Uh-oh. I sure hope nothing scary's gonna happen in here. That would be terrible. Guess I'll just have to ruin your plans. Ha! Found you, Ellie. Ah, Jimmy, I guess you found me. And I'm not done yet, because I know where Jordan's hiding, too. Come on out. Party's over, Jordan. Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> you just caught me enjoying one of my favorite pastimes, vacuuming. <laughs> I just love this little gadget. Gets all the little cracks and crevices. First of all, who vacuums a closet? Secondly, if you're in there, then where's Jordan? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Jordan. We scared him real good. We took him down to Scary Town. Wait a second, scared? You actually thought that I was scared? No, no, I was just going up here to look for my basketball. It doesn't seem to be here. That's a balloon. That's what, uh, that's what tripped me up. Doesn't count. Coach just the person I wanted to see. Oh, you need help with your gym homework? Well, I guess you could kind of consider this homework. You see, Ellie and Jordan have been trying to scare me all day for absolutely no good reason. And I think it's time to give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, medicine? No, that's not me. We gotta ask the school nurse. I'm just the gym coach. No, Coach Rocco, that's just an expression. What I need you to do is help me scare Ellie and Jordan. Here's the plan. I have a costume all set up for you in the kitchen, so I need you to go in there and put it on. Then I'll lure Ellie and Jordan into the kitchen, and once they see you all dressed up as a scary monster, they'll be so scared they won't even know what to do. Then we'll see who the real scaredy cats are. Oh, uh, Ellie and Jordan have kittens now? No, scaredy, that's just another expression, Coach. Can you just go into the kitchen or I'll, I'll meet you there. Good grief. Ellie! Jordan! Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Oh, you know, it's been a long day with all that super funny scaring you've been doing, and I feel a little uh, famished. What do you say we go to the kitchen for a little celebratory snack? Sure, sounds good. <laughs> oh, it will be. Just you wait. I sure hope there's nothing spooky in the kitchen. That'd be just, <laughs> that'd be just terrible. Ah! Look, look, it's a scary monster! It's a scary monster! Run for your lives! Run! Why aren't you running? It's scary! Jimmy, that's obviously Coach Rocco. Look! Yeah, Jimmy, if you wanted Coach Rocco to scare us, you probably should have changed his shirt. Yeah, Jimmy, can you go over this plan again? So we have to get medicine for their kitties, and then what happens after that? Oh. Wait, if that's Coach Rocco, then who's that? Run for it! <laughs> Silly kids, where'd they go off to? <laughs> hey, I love your shirt. Where'd you get that? Are you Coach Rocco from the future? Huh? Oh, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, these are stale. These are stale. Throw those out. No, 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 no. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! You know, science class has been really fun lately.
My teacher has been teaching us ways in which we can save the environment. Hmm. She even gave us an assignment so that we can save the environment from home. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, why are all these sinks running? Anyone in here? I can't believe all those sinks are running. We learned in school that one sink uses up one gallon of water per minute. That's a lot of water wasted. Hey, is my water blaster full yet? Jimmy, were you running all these sinks so that you could fill your water blaster? No, no, I was also filling up my water balloons. Perfect. And I was washing my soccer ball. See, good as new. Thanks, water. And besides, what are you worried about anyway? Haven't you ever looked at a map? Look at how big our oceans are. We got the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Santa Maria. Some of them are even bigger than entire countries. Well, sure, the oceans are huge, but not much of that water is actually drinkable. Only 1%. You know, people need to drink fresh water, not salt water, and that's what most of the water on the Earth is. Huh, I guess I didn't know that. I just knew that every time I turned the sink on, I could have as much water as I wanted, but if there's really only 1%, then I guess I gotta be more careful about how much water I use. How do you know all this science stuff anyway? In science class? The one you sit next to me in? In the science class where we have our Save the Environment homework assignment due tomorrow? Wait a minute, we have homework due tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Uh-oh, gotta go. Oh, I completely forgot about my science homework. How am I gonna think of an idea that helps save the environment? Ooh, I've got an idea. I could do spin -a for charity. People could pledge money, and for every donator, I would do a famous Jimmy spin -a Yeah, we'll call it Save the earth a with a little spin -a so that the Earth can keep spinning. a -rooney. I'll think of the name later. Yeah, that might work. Actually, now that I think about it, I pretty much did the same thing for my English project last year, and I got a D minus on it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Hmm, maybe if I did something with my scooter, or my bicycle. Bicycle, recyclables. Yeah, that's it. I'll come up with a new system that will revolutionize recycling. It could even save the earth. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an A plus on this for sure. And even better, I'll be rich. Perfect. Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on my science homework. Ellie and I have been learning about recycling all week in school, and I developed a foolproof new system that's gonna save the environment, maybe the whole world. I'm so proud of you and Ellie taking the initiative to save the environment. How does it work? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, hey! hey. Guys. Hey Ellie, you're gonna wanna hear this too because soon it's gonna be everywhere. So I developed a three bag system. And before you ask, you can't just put all kinds of garbage into all kinds of bags. Every bag has a very specific use. For example, the blue bag here, you can only put blue garbage into it. So for example, this uh, blue marker. And in the red bag, you can only put red garbage, like this red party hat. And in the green bag, yep, you guessed it, only green garbage, like this line here. Any questions? Um, Jimmy, I don't think this is how we learned about recycling in class. Yeah, e Ellie's right. What if the garbage isn't one of these colors and it's purple like this balloon? I thought you might ask that. Well, stick around, fellas, because my plan has a solution for that problem, too. If the color isn't one of these main three colors, you just have to do a little mix and matching. Like in the case of purple, blue and red combined make purple. So you just have to put half the balloon in one of the bins and half of the balloon in the other bins, like this. <laughs> See, half in there and half in there. Any more questions, doubters? Wow, it makes perfect sense. Ellie, you ready to recycle? Um, not exactly. You see, you don't have to match the colors of the recycling bins with the color of the garbage. You have to match the recycling bins to the type of garbage it is. So, the blue bin is for plastic. The red bin is for cans and glass. 
and then the green bin is for paper. So you would actually put everything else that doesn't match up with those categories in your regular kitchen garbage bin. Oh, that makes sense. Because come to think about it, I wasn't really sure what to do with this cookie here. Hey, wait a minute. This is a perfectly good cookie. Why would I be throwing it out anyway? Well, did you find that one under your bed, Jimmy? It's only been there since Tuesday. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got your favorite sour cream and onion. Come here, kitty, kitty. Here you go. Hey, Coach, what are you up to? Oh, I'm feeding the kitten that lives in our yard. The kitten? Look at how cute he is. Look at that white stripe down his back. Isn't he cute? Coach, be careful. That's a wild animal. And not just any wild animal, a skunk. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is a kitten. Oh, no, Coach, the best thing you can do for a wild animal is to leave it alone. It's not that we're being mean, it's that it might get sick on human food or we're taking it away from its home. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a kitten if he eats potato chips. Oh, gosh. Coach, just make sure you take a shower after, okay? What? Bye! Bye. <laughs> silly, silly Ellie. She doesn't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Why aren't you eating your potato chips, huh? Huh? Ah! Oh! Oh, stinky, naughty, stinky. Oh, yeah, no, she was right. She was right. Oh, yes, you are a skunk. Yes, you're a stinky skunk. Okay, you can go back out there. Go. Go frolic with all the other skunks. I hope there's no other skunks. Oh. Ellie, you were right. You were right. Get the tomato sauce again. Hey, Coach Rocco, want to come to the mailbox with us? We're going to go see if those energy efficient light bulbs you ordered already got here. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'll meet you there in my car. Hey, Coach Rocco, why don't you go take a scooter or a bike? I mean, it'll be good for your health and it'll also be good for the environment. Yeah, true. And the mailbox is just down the driveway. Uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a scooter before and I, I watch you two scooting around and it looks dangerous. I'll just walk. No, 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 no. You can take my scooter and my helmet. And Jimmy here can teach you how to ride it. It's super easy. And trust me, it's a much better choice than taking the car. All right, Coach Rocco, Jimmy's scooter school is in session. Step number one to riding a scooter. First, you gotta plant one foot on top of the scooter. Then you gotta plant the other one on the ground. And when you're ready, give yourself a little boost and push. <laughs> You got this, Coach Rocco! Oh, oh look! <laughs> You're doing it, Coach! I'm scooting! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice job, Coach Rocco. <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, just because you didn't choose your car, you've already taken one step towards a cleaner Earth. Our Terra Science Project is complete. We're getting really, really good at saving the environment. I'll say, yee-haw, how about a race? <laughs> Coach Rocco, don't go so fast. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way. Coach Rocco, watch out for that. Oh, oh yikes, that one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Ellie Sparkles and happy Cinco de Mayo! That's the 5th of May in Spanish, and it's a very important holiday in Mexico and I'm making this super cool treat. It's called cascarones. Basically, it's these eggshells that you can paint into your favorite characters. I call this one Senorita Sparkles. Isn't she pretty? And here's the best part. You're supposed to crack the cascarones over your head and out will come a special surprise. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna count to three in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> That was so much fun! Oh, I think someone's at the door. That must be my Cinco de Mayo guest. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hi there, Jimmy. Hey, Ellie. 
Oh, wow, perfect. You brought the eggs. That'll be perfect for my mother. And I bet I know just what we're using them for, too. Making scrambled eggs. Well, lucky for you, Jimmy is the best cook in the whole school. In fact, you can call me Chef Jimmy the Great. Whoa. Uh-oh. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? <laughs> so let me get this straight. These eggs aren't for scrambling. They're for Cinco de Mayo? Yep, and Cinco de Mayo is a super important day in Mexico's history because that's the day when Mexico won the battle to save the town of Puebla in 1860. So now every 5th of May, we celebrate by eating delicious food and making these colorful cascarones. <laughs> and you'll like this. There's prizes hidden in my eggs, like candy, money, and even... <laughs> Robux cards? Well, I guess you could fit Robux cards in there. <laughs> Awesome! Oh, forget scrambled eggs. Give me a cascaroonie. Cascarones! <laughs> Jimmy, you can pick only one because I only made enough for one per person. Take your pick. Hmm, let's see. Not that one. I don't know about that one either. I'll take this one. This one definitely has the most Robux in it. <laughs> Good choice. Are you ready? Sparkle Squad, if you want to see Jimmy crack his cascarones, give me a big thumbs up. And let's count down. Uno, dos, tres! Wait a minute. Candy corn? Guess you didn't get Robux in that one, Jimmy, but you did get a candy egg. Nice job! Wait a minute. No money? No Robux? Well, that one doesn't count. That was just practice. This one's the real one. Oh, come on, I want a Robux egg. I want a Robux egg. Jimmy! Oh, there's no prizes in these. Well, yeah, because I didn't finish putting prizes in them. And I only said one per person. Oh, Ellie, can I please get a do-over? Come on, since these were empty, they shouldn't count. <sighs> Come on, Jimmy, I'll make some more, and then I'll give you one at school tomorrow, okay? Oh, fine. But you know, I already used up all my Robux yesterday. I really just think I should get another one. <sighs> Green in the pool is so cool. I'm not too cool for school. Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco, you're never going to believe this. This is so unfair. Wait a minute. Are you even listening to me? Coach Rocco? Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco you got to come with me. At least making these super cool eggs for Cinco de Mayo. You mean cascaronas? Yeah. I love those. Yeah, yeah, cascaroonies. But these aren't just ordinary cascaroonies. These ones have money and Robux cards inside them. Huh. Leave it to Ellie to make the greatest treats. I better go over there and get one before she runs out. Wait, wait, you gotta take me with you. But you need to give me a disguise first. Are you trying to trick Ellie, Jimmy? I don't like the sound of this. No, 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 definitely not trying to trick Ellie. We're just trying to, you know, play a little game, a little Cinco de Mayo game. Yeah, that's right. A Cinco de Mayo game, interesting. I've never heard of it. Okay, I think I do have a disguise you can use. She'll never know it's you. <laughs> awesome, as long as she never recognizes me. That's the most important thing. So remember, you can't call me Jimmy either. We need to come up with a fake name. Timmy, Timmy. No, 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 not Timmy. That sounds too much like Jimmy. She'll know it's me for sure. It needs to be something that doesn't sound anything like Zimmy. Zimmy. No, no, not Zimmy. Zimmy, not Zimmy. Like Zimmy. No, no, Coach Rocco, get off the Emmys. What about the squeeze? Lift up the squee. Squee? All right, now I'm gonna teach you how to make these cascarones. It's a good thing that Jimmy brought some extra eggs. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to take your egg in a bowl or over the sink and something pointy like a paintbrush or a pen to start poking away at your egg. You're gonna to wanna to make two holes. And you poke it. And once your egg is dry, you're gonna stuff it with all your favorite surprises. Now you can put so many different things in there, like candy corn, or money, or confetti. I'm gonna start with confetti. And once you're done, you plug up the holes and you get started on decorating. Now you can paint them any way you like. You can paint them to look like your favorite characters or put different patterns on them. But I'm gonna start making an emoji on mine. So let's get some yellow paint. And just make sure you glue it on nice and tight. And there you go, your finished cascarone. <laughs> oh, 
Another Cinco de Mayo guest. I wonder who that is. Hi, Coach Rocco. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo to you too. Oh, and who's your friend? Uh, this is my cousin, Bimmy. Oh, Bimmy? Huh, that's an interesting name. So, Bimmy, you look somewhat familiar. Do you go to my school? Uh, no, I go to a school someplace far away. Okay. Well, you two have come to the right place. I've got all the Cinco de Mayo festivities ready. Come on in. So I've been making food all day. I've got nachos, guacamole, tacos, more nachos. Ooh, I love nachos. But do you have peanut butter? That's my favorite treat, peanut butter nachos. <laughs> what about party favors? You can't have a Cinco de Mayo party without party favors. Ooh, party favors. You'll be excited to hear about this. I've been making this treat called a cascarone. Oh, yeah, I think they're called cascaroonies, actually. Uh, no, pretty sure they're called cascaroonies. <sighs> And here you go. These are two I just made. One for you, Coach Rocco, and one for you, Bimmy. Oh, and since I'm the adult, I get to go first. Oh, by the way, there's some special surprises in there. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, tres! Let's see what I got, let's see what I got. A Roblox gift certificate. Good for 500 Robux. <laughs> awesome job, Coach Rocco. That's one of the rare ones. Oh, my turn. Bimmy's turn now. Ready? Uno, Uno dos. Bimmy! What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> you got candy corn. You're so lucky. It's delicious. Candy corn? Candy corn? You got 500 Robux and I got candy corn? Uh, happy single to Mayo, guys. Oh, it's not about what's inside the cascarones. It's about spreading the holiday cheer. Right you are, Ellie. And I'm sure Coach Rocco will want to spread the holiday cheer by switching prizes with me. No, actually, I, I like this because I don't know what Roblox is, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> I'm sure you like this candy corn better, Coach Rocco. Besides, I'm the best Roblox player in the whole school. I got the high score in Adopt Me. The high score in Adopt Me? Wait a second, I think I know who this is. Oh no! Jimmy! I should have known that you were trying to get another cascarones. Uh-oh. Remember, Coach Rocco, how I said that this was a game? Well, game over. Uh, Jimmy! <laughs> so can you teach me about this Roblox thing? Like, is it Roblox or Robux? What is it? So Robux is the money inside Roblox, and you can use the money to get all sorts of different treats and things, like clothes or pets or things for your house, or, and, you know, things like that. <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, elliesparklesofficial, or on Facebook at elliesparkles. <laughs> See you soon.